I'm Greg Mitchell Mayer, and this is RumbleFit New York City with Sunday Slam, an upper body and core workout. It is August 2016. So basically we're going to start off with some wide grip pull-ups for the back. We're going to hit some push-ups after that, get some arms and chest in there, hit some dips, get a little bit more of that tricep, and then we're going to go do some bicep pull-ups, and after that we're going to hit some core. Keep it nice and tight over here, nice and big over here. That's what the ladies like. What we are essentially doing with this workout is creating circuits of multi-joint movements with sprints and then active meditation. Our daughter Lola is here to participate as well. The structure is simple. Pull-ups, then push-ups, then dips, then a Russian twist, jump rope mixed up in between, and then crash. You have to rest and recover. The structure of the workout is such that we can take turns doing pull-ups, push-ups, jump rope, and we're not in anybody's way. You can see right there, Mo's technique is very clean, very crisp. The way he trains is very deliberate. The push-ups are explosive, but everything is by choice. If you're new to working out, or if you don't train hard, or if you have injuries, you need to modify all of these movements. Matt is here doing amazing push-ups. And it's essentially a relentless pace. As much as you can do, one thing after another after another. Exercise to exercise. And then when you need to rest, you give yourself that opportunity to rest. The workout itself should have an organic flow. But the point here is to be as strong and as lean as we can get. Yeah. I, I picture working out, you know, box, mega box. You gotta start from the bottom to build your way up to the top. Even when you're still there, you still have to hold it. But building upon it, it's always, it's always more to it. Fastening your feet and always strength training. There's a lot to it. Just don't stop, stay encouraged, continue working out, keep it going. It doesn't just happen. It takes a lot of time. It takes hundreds of workouts. My dad told me we gotta crawl before we walk, and then we gotta walk before we run. So if you, if you built up on that, you can definitely do it. Beautiful, beautiful. Mo, tell me your favorite core exercises. What are the best ones for making your core strong? For me, I personally like uh, planking the most. Just variations of planks. Variations on planks, a lot of times I'll just go on the dipping bar and do like an L sit. I learned from like an old friend of mine who's a gymnast and that just feels amazing. Like the burn, I feel like my core gets stronger, gets tighter, it just feels amazing. And a lot of times I'll do the uh, ab twist with a small weight in my hand, like a 10 or a 25. I'm not trying to build on it, just keep my core tight. And that, I feel like that helps me with my V taper like the most. Exercising outdoors is proven to have a more positive reaction. And working out with other people means that you push yourself a little harder, you have people to spot you, and people to encourage you. In between these sets, we do have time to talk, we can just shoot the shit, we can relax, we can talk about life, but then we get back to work. This is a variation on a Russian twist, using a bit of a teaser movement, engaging the core, hollowing out the spine, bringing the chin in close towards your chest. Try to stabilize the movement as much as possible. Here's Matt doing an even harder version. Grabbing a piece of loose concrete, you can make the exercise even harder. And then when you have nothing left and you are completely fried, then give yourself freedom to relax. Lay back stare at the clouds, stare at the tree bark, stare at whatever fascinates you. Don't stare at other people at the gym. Breathe deep and give your body a chance to heal. Let mother nature heal you. Then right back to work. Hey Matt, can I see your top speed? Intervals are essential for burning fat, but they also have incredible healthy benefits. Strengthening your heart, your lungs, even your acuity. You're able to think more clearly and respond with greater efficiency after aerobic exercise and anaerobic exercise. 
And if you're new to jump rope, you don't have to do jump rope to sprint. You can use an elliptical machine, a rowing machine. You can do mountain climbers. There's many variations, many ways to get your heart rate through the roof. And yeah, it's good for you. Take time to recover. The active meditation component that I include in any workout means doing nothing, which is actually impossible, but you want to let your mind flow. Don't try to hold on to your thoughts. Let Mother Nature heal you. Thoughts will arise in your mind, exist, and go out of your mind. In between sets of intense exercise, let yourself recover. Only when you have fully recovered can you fully exert yourself for the next series of circuits. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the other videos we have and stay tuned for more.